Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about wires, pressure plates, logic gates, and door timers in Prison Architect. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because I don't see very many people using these features in Prison Architect, but all of them are useful for not only practical purposes in your prison, but also creative purposes. And so after this video, I'll put up some more videos that actually show off some practical usages and some creative usages. But for now, we'll focus on the basics. So, we'll start with door timers. And a door timer is kind of misleadingly named because it can actually be used for anything. But what it does is it sends a signal over its connections whenever it's on. And you can set when it's on based on time of day or time on the regime. And you can adjust that for security and etc. So this one is set to be on all the time, just to demonstrate. And right here I have two status lights, and all status lights do is that they light up whenever a connection sends them a signal. So they're good for demonstrations, but not very useful for much else. So I'm going to go to the utilities menu and go to connect. I'm going to connect this door timer to this status light, and the light will come on. And you can also see that a wire is getting a signal whenever it turns red. You can see these up here are blue because they aren't receiving a signal right now. And it's also important to know that these connections are one way, which means that they send from where you clicked first to where you clicked second. So if I make a connection from this status light to the other status light, it won't turn on because this status light's not on. And you can see the connection is blue. But if I make a connection from the status light that's currently on to the other one, then both of them will become on. And actually both of those wires come on because that status light is now on. Another useful thing is pressure plates or pressure pads. And while they share their texture with sheet metal, they don't have anything to do with it. They're actually a utility that when something is placed on them, they turn on and their connections light up. So I'm going to connect this pressure pad to this status light right here. And when this guard steps on the pressure pad, the light will come on. And when he gets off of it, the light will turn off. And there's two pressure pads here to demonstrate that objects on top of them also trigger them as well as people. And so this metal detector here is on it, so it's always triggered, and this door, even though it's open, still counts as being on top of it and triggers it. And in fact, if you put one under a door, the door can't close, as you can see whenever I set it to normal. And so it seems to be kind of useless to have one under a door, or under any object for that matter, unless you want a constant on signal. So that's pretty much all there is to say about pressure pads, door timers, and status lights, for now. In later episodes, I may go into more detail about them when I use them and stuff. But what we really want to talk about today is logic circuits or logic gates, which are interchangeable terms. The game calls them logic circuits. The more common term might be logic gates. So what these are is a single object in utilities. And when you right click on them, you can change which type they are. So you can see I'm going through the types here. And there are two one input ones, which means they take one input and do something with it. Two basic two input ones, or multiple input ones, and three complex two inputs or multiple input ones. So we'll start with the single input basics. So equals, what it does is when it receives a signal, it sends the same signal. So if this door timer is on, then equals will be on, and if this door timer is off, then equals will be off. Now it's, both of these are designed to only get one signal, but in actuality you can hook up more than one thing to them. So I'm going to hook up this door timer. And you'll see that whenever more than one thing is hooked up to it, it acts in the same way as OR, which we'll talk about in a second. So when at least one of them is on, it's on. So it doesn't matter if both of them are on. It just matters if one of them is on. Now NOT is also a one signal one, and it does the reverse. So if the signal coming in is off, then it turns on. And if the signal coming in is on, then it turns off. And again, we can hook up another connection to it, like so. And now it just depends as long as one of them is on, then it's off. It can be both, or it can just be one, but it'll be off as long as at least one of them is on. And it will be on only when both of them are off. That acts the same as NOR, which again we'll talk about. So now we're getting to the basic two that are meant to take multiple inputs. So AND comes on whenever both or all of its inputs are on. Again, it can be more than one input, it can be more than two inputs. So there you can see both of these are on, AND is on. If one of them is off, AND is off. Doesn't matter which one. And if it had three inputs, like so, then if 
I can press the right button. If I had three inputs like so, then it'll be on only when all three of them are on. As you can see, that one turns off and then turns off. Or, or works as long as one of them is on. It's often called inclusive or, and if you know that terminology, or if you don't know that terminology, what it means is that it represents the phrase this or that or both. So as you can see, it's on with both of them on, and it's off with both of them off, and if one of them is on, it's also on. So at least one has to be on. If both of them are on, that's fine too. Now, I have this over here to demonstrate that in some cases you can skip or, because if you send a signal to any normal object like an indicator light or a door servo, then it'll come on as long as one of the signals coming to it is on, which works very similarly to or. So here I have these both hooked up to this indicator light, and as long as one of them is on, or both of them, then the indicator light's on. So you can skip using or entirely in that case, but there are cases where or is useful. Next we have NAND. So now we're getting into the three more complex ones. With NAND and NOR, you can think of them as NOT AND and NOT OR. That's what the terminology basically means. So NOT AND is true as long as is on as long as AND is not on. Using true or false is kind of jargony, so I won't do that. So in any case where AND would be on, which is both of them, NAND is off. And in any case where AND would be off, NAND is on. So you could recreate this with an AND and then a NOT after it. So you can see both of them are on, so NAND is off. If I turn off one, and it'll come on. If I turn off both of them, and it'll come on. So it's precisely the opposite of whatever and would be. Nor is identical in its reference to or. It's precisely the opposite of or. As long as at least one of them is on, it's off. If neither of them is on, then it's on. But if one or both, or all, if you have more than two, are on, then nor is off. So it works exactly the opposite of OR. XOR is exclusive OR, and is probably more similar to what you normally mean when you use OR in a sentence. So exclusive OR means this or that, but not both. So as you can see right now, one of them's on, so it's on. If I turn on the other one, well, it comes on because the other one turned off, but if I make sure that both of them are on, then it's off. And if neither of them is on, then again, it'll be off. So it works the same as OR, except not allowing all of the inputs to be on. So there you have it for all of the logic circuits and some basic uses of connections. In later videos, I'll show you how to use these things to make interesting and practical usage features of your prison, as well as to try out some creative designs that aren't practical for your prison, but might be fun to make. Until then, thanks very much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. If you liked, please remember to give a thumbs up, and if you want to see more of this, then please subscribe. Until then, have a good day, or night, or any amount of time.